Hello everyone, welcome to the part number 6 for this second milestone. So the plan of today is to install the Facebook SDK on both iOS and Android. So at the end of the this part, what we supposed to what is supposed to happen is when I'm gonna click here on continue with Facebook, I'm gonna get here this uh, kind of logging uh, happening in my application. So this is what we're gonna do today. So uh, so for this uh, part, it's gonna be the first part. We're gonna do this with the iOS version, and the second one's gonna be with the Android. So this is what we're gonna do today. So what are we going to do first? It's first thing is we're going to go to this link here, Re React Native Facebook SDK, and we're going to follow what they say to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to run React Native, install React Native Facebook SDK. Or finally, just doing npm install. So inside your project, go inside your mobile, make sure you are inside your mobile, and run yarn add React Native Facebook SDK. After that, we're gonna run this command here, React Native Link Facebook SDK. Don't supposed to take too much time. Okay, after that, we run this command. So they're gonna link the React Native Facebook SDK. Perfect. And now what we need to do, so for the iOS version, now we're gonna need first thing to follow this getting start uh, git here. It's going to be pretty simple. So first thing we need is going inside your Facebook app developer and add a platform inside your setting iOS. So click inside of your setting here, click add platform, click on iOS. After that, what the, you need to do is go inside your Xcode project, go inside your uh, the app near the app here, Instagram clone and copy paste this uh, bundle identifier right inside this and click enter. After that, we need here to uh, click single sign, sign on. And after that, just click on save change. Everything is saved, no error, perfect. After that, what we need to do is to download this here and put that inside a folder inside your root document Facebook SDK. So I have already done that. So right there. There, I put that inside my Facebook SDK right there. So you can do this. Just make sure that you is this is inside your document folder, and this is where you're gonna put inside a Facebook SDK with this uppercase SDK here. So what they want you to do is to drag and drop inside the folder framework. If you don't have the folder framework, create one, but we have one now. So the folder they want you to put is first thing is gonna be the bolt. So both framework, we're gonna drag and drop that inside the framework right there. Make sure you have copy eaten if need, if need. So we're gonna click, uh, okay. After that, the one we're gonna need also, it's gonna be the uh, core kit. So core kit, drag and drop that, same thing, finish. So that we're gonna do the same with the share kit. So share kit, right there. Same thing. After that, we're gonna do the same with the login kit. So login kit, and that's it. After that, we're gonna go inside Visual Studio Code. We're gonna open iOS, and we're gonna go to the info place folder inside the Instagram clone. The info place file inside Instagram clone. Because here, they're gonna ask you to add this line here. So just copy paste the, this. Don't worry, I'm gonna put this link in the description. And right there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste that right here. So after the line 24, so after the CF bundle version, I'm gonna paste this stuff here. I'm gonna just then a bit, okay. Now here, we need to put the app ID. So here, you can click to copy right there at the top right. And what you do is you're gonna change that to be your app ID. So you can do command D to select on both because we need that here too. After that, your app name. So the app name we have is InstaClone. So I'm gonna copy paste that right here. So this is like where you put all your app ID stuff and thing like that. And this is where um, the finally the Facebook SDK gonna read your stuff inside your info list. So you can close 
this from Visual Studio Code. Sorry, but yeah. Go inside this code, and now what we're gonna need to do is go inside your app delegate M. Okay, make sure this is the app delegate M. Now, uh, one thing we're gonna need to import is gonna be here this line. FB, F, Facebook SDK core core kit. All this stuff finally we are right there. Okay. After that, they ask us to paste this code right inside. Here you see right inside this launch option right there. What are you gonna do? Finally, right there below. I'm gonna save that. And after that, what you need is to copy and pasting this full block here of code. And before the end, but outside of this one here. That's it. So now we're gonna save. And now if everything is work, this is supposed to be able to compile. So I'm gonna run the compilation. I'm gonna come when it's gonna be done. Okay, now the build is succeed. So now if it's succeed, we are supposed at least to see the screen. If you see the screen, that means we should be good. Perfect. So now that's gonna be that for the uh, for the installation of the mobile iOS. Uh, finally, the uh, Facebook SDK for the iOS. The only thing we can do is maybe try it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the login screen. And first thing we're gonna create is a unlogging Facebook button. So unlogging FB button, a uh, press, sorry, press. And uh, <coughs> this one is gonna be an async call, this function here. Uh, yeah, but no equal here, so like that, okay? This button is gonna be called where, when we click on this Facebook button. So inside the continue with Facebook, uh, we should be able to see right there. So on press, this dot on logging Facebook press, perfect. And now here to make it work, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import from FB SDK like that. I'm gonna import the logging manager. I don't know why I don't have the autocomplete. Yeah, login manager. Okay. Now here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do cons res equal away logging manager dot log with read permission. Here you put just public profile. Okay, nothing more for now. So now if I refresh my screen, I'm getting an error, and one of my errors is gonna be again this icon stuff. So all we manage that is by seeing this stuff here again. This code here. Now we're gonna reload. I'm gonna put this code in the description. And now if I click on continue with Facebook, and now it should be able to work. You see, you previously logged into the inside uh, Insta clone, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. So that's gonna be this for the Android part. So I'm gonna do another video for the Android user. So we, I'm gonna stop here for now. So we're gonna jump on the Android part in a moment.